Go in the direction of peace and be grateful to have a better life. Part 2 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. This was not simple, eh? No. It's there to kill. Either they say they kill because they are fascists or whatever, or they kill because Jesus taught good things. God. Either way, you know, you do bad, they kill you, or they wrongfully accuse you, saying that you're bad, then they can kill you. And then you do good things, you say good things, and it's so obvious that it's all good, they also kill you. God. Yeah. This war is very dangerous, and I don't know why any master would even come down, or will come down again. Yes, master. You know, I used to cry a lot when, whenever I read the Bible about how Jesus suffered, and the story of Jesus' yes. suffering, and also whenever I remember it. Or every Christmas, I cry a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, yeah. I cry so, so much, so much. You know, okay. All right. Uh, so it's, it's good. I also read somewhere the presidency somehow rebuked Putin. Yes. Because the way he does is not capitalism and not communism, nothing. Just terrorism. That's right. Yes. And it makes a very, very bad name for communist countries. Yes, that's true. Many other communist followers or the ones who like the communism theory look upon those uh, elders like Russia, China, etc. And now they feel very, very bad. Bad reputation. Yes, exactly. That's true. No matter how good communism is, the way Putin does things to Ukraine really brought down communism, the communistic faith of the people. Yes, that's right. It's terrible, terrible. I don't care if communists or not communists, if people are happy and have peace to go on with their normal, simple, humble life, that's all people want. Yes, that's right. But the way Putin does it, not just Ukraine now, but many other countries before that. Yeah. And after Ukraine, there will be more countries being harassed, molested, and tortured like in Ukraine, just for him to get some peace of it. He can't just leave people alone and let them feel peace or let them have their own country to do their own business. Yes, Master. It seems like there's such aggression. There's a war-like quality inside. It cannot be human. Yes, Master. It can only be a demon inside who drives him to do this. Exactly. I told you it's just a possessed body, it's not putting. Alright, yes. And now you believe me or not? Yes, Master, definitely. It's pure yeah. evil. Even if you don't see the devil around him or within him, you see his actions and you can believe me that I won't lie to you, to anyone. Right. It's true like that. Uh, and it makes me suffer so much. I also became homeless, like a homeless person. Yeah, I have to God. keep changing places because of security reasons. Yeah, oh, master. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I'm just like a refugee now myself, like all the refugee people, even though I don't have no, to be. Oh, master. All this fear in the world, all this oppressed energy and frightful energy sometimes it's too overwhelming for me even to deal with yes oh. it just feels very strong and heavy oh master imagine how other people themselves also feel but i feel just like them oh. i feel just like they do except for example that i'm not in ukraine and hearing all this bombing or running or any time with the missiles bombing on their head or nearby or anything like that. But the feeling is very much similar to how they feel. Oh, wow. Yeah. Smoke billows from the rubble as rescuers continue to search for survivors in the Ukrainian city of Dnipro.
Emergency teams had worked through the night in the cold and dark, sifting through the debris of an apartment block that was destroyed by a Russian missile. Some people were pulled out alive, some were badly injured. Among the dead was a 15-year-old girl. Emergency workers tried to console one woman who'd lost her son. What have you done to my son? You cowards. I'll curse you forever. Let the whole world curse you. The missile strike was part of a wave of Russian attacks across Ukraine on Saturday that officials said targeted power infrastructure. In a village near Kyiv, one missile landed near this man's house. Elsewhere in the capital, people took shelter after a series of explosions, while cities including Kharkiv and Lviv were plunged into darkness. I'm just too sensitive. I cry for the suffering of the animal people and the humans. I c cannot help it. All right, Master. Because I'm them. Yes, Master. I don't feel any separation from any humans or any beings or trees or even flowers. Yes. That's why I don't pluck flowers anymore and I don't let any of the so-called disciples offer fresh flowers to me anymore. Yes, you know? master, that's right, yes. For decoration, just use fabric flowers even. Yes. And the vegetables we eat, this is a minimum that we have to use just to survive, to continue the work. Right. Every day before I eat, I pray. I pray for their sake and I pray, I thank God and all involved. I thank all the masters that have given me the merit to eat that food. Yes, master. Yeah. Okay, anything else that you have uh, studied, read? Yes, some other news. That uh, Boris Johnson has been urged oh. to return as prime minister for the sake oh. of Britain and her people. Oh, so okay. So th that's encouraging. <laughs> Ah, it is. Yes, yes. Yeah, that poor guy. I don't know if he, he even wants to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember one of the clips that they made public about him and his so-called uh, whatever birthday party. Yeah? Oh, uh, yes. I saw him standing in the corner a little far from uh, all his people, yeah, for his staff that made a party for him. He stayed in one corner with a plastic ball or paper ball uh, right. in which there was a piece of cake. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he was holding on to it. He was holding it and uh, talking to his staff. And I felt, my God, how can people even fire a guy like this? Just a plastic ball with a piece of cake in it. Yes. You know. Up to now, I still remember that image and I feel so sorry for him. He's so humble. Yes, Master. I don't see any, like, an air of arrogance or a power-conscious person in that image to me. Yes, that's right. I just feel, my God, he's so humble. He accepts a piece of cake in a disposable bowl, a small one, in yeah. his hand. <laughs> standing in the corner and talking to his people, thanking them. Yes. In the old times, a prime minister is just second to a king. Wow, oh, yeah. In those monarchy kind of systems in the old times, oh, he would be respected or admired or feared by the whole country's citizens. Yes. Oh. Second to the king only. And the power was all oh, immeasurable when you were a prime minister from the old time. Right. Yes. And not to stand in a corner with a disposable ball in his <laughs> hand like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> this chair hair and everything. <laughs> yes. They were even making fun of his hair, but I think he's just maybe cutting himself or, or throwing the sources to do whatever, just to make it short so that he can go back to work. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Short so that it's easy to wash and comb. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't feel like he's a pretentious person or power conscious being or anything as a prime minister. Not at all. That's right. 
I don't feel any ego from him at all. Yes, Master. So this is the person who is worthy to be Prime Minister. Yeah. Yes, Master. I feel this aura of the goodness from him. You don't always see that from other leaders. I don't want to name names. Yeah. Yes. For any other leaders, it's very difficult, very hard to find a person of great power, but still has a good aura and the aura and the energy of goodness. Yes, yeah? Master. Yes, yeah. right. So whenever I remember the image of him standing in the <laughs> corner with, with a disposable small bowl with a piece of cake in it, I feel so sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I wouldn't bother coming back myself. Yeah. <laughs> but as I said to you guys before, I think you should stay before he resign. Yeah, I say he yes. should stay for his country, no matter how difficult the job is. But they wanted him out, so he's out. Mm. And now they want him back so desperately. I don't know if he can or if he will or if he wants to. Right. Whatever. Good luck to Britain and good luck to him in whatever he wants to do. That's all I can say, yeah? Mm. Yes, Master. Thank but you. I can't shake off this image of him standing in the corner with <laughs> a disposable small bowl with a piece of butter cake in it. <laughs> <laughs> and talking smilingly to his staff. Yeah. And it was there yeah, just some minutes with them to oh. thank them and to appreciate their kindness, to remember his birthday even. I'm not sure if he remember his birthday. <laughs> 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 Let alone tell them to make a party for him. No, I don't think he wanted that party or cared to have it or anything. Normally. That's yeah. right. I can believe that. He might not even remember his birthday being too busy, you know? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, I remember one time I was in Moscow to do the lecture. That was my birthday. I only oh. realized it after when somebody told me, Happy birthday, Master. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I went to the lecture, I didn't remember anything about my birthday until after some disciple tell me happy birthday, Master, and gave me some flowers and something I can't remember. <laughs> then I said, oh, it's my birthday? All right. <laughs> and now that I don't remember at all. <laughs> Nobody around to, to remind me of anything. Yeah. Before, without COVID and without the troublesome world, I still would go out some day or some days or a festival day to talk to the disciples and they would remind me that it's my birthday because they would make a cake and eat it themselves and if I came around they would say happy birthday or give me a little piece of cake yes. but then I would remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing, nothing, no cakes, not even Christmas cakes, nothing. No. If I even could have some food ready from yesterday, I'd be more happy because I could eat quickly or conveniently, yeah. Ah, you know what? I'm glad I improved myself. Nowadays, I wash dishes right away. Oh, really? I don't want to do three days anymore. <laughs> it is no use waiting three days. You still have to wash it anyway, yeah. <laughs> so if you wash it right away, it's less and quicker, and then you just... Uh, put it out somewhere, if you have a sink, then it will dry next time, in the next 24 hours when you come back. <laughs> it's also not too bad, you know, not too bad. Yeah. It feels better than coming back 24 hours later and see yeah. the uh, dirty dishes around or, <laughs> or, or yeah, in the sink or even in the bucket or something. It doesn't feel that good, so it's just better to wash it right away. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, I feel glad that I have improved a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, and nowadays I don't cook. Oh, for so long already I have not cooked. I just uh, eat uh, whatever, whatever kind of vegetables. Always can eat as is. Before I used to even put them in uh, water and Spices and salt and that to marinate and eat? No, I just eat it as is now. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and if I have rice already cooked, then I eat it with rice and some sauce, you know, like soy sauce. Yes. Yeah, but nowadays, gratefully, we have uh, a lot of conveniences, like you can have a rice cooker. Yeah. You just put the rice in there, uh, wash the rice and put water in there, and then it cooks by itself. Yes, yeah. right. Yes, very mm. convenient. 
Yeah, and if you didn't eat it all, then the next day you push a button, it was coming up for you. <laughs> yeah, amazing. <laughs> Actually, many things nowadays are yeah, so convenient. I'm so thankful to have them. Not only animals deserving of our compassion, but we may learn a number of good traits from them. Rabbi David Sears, Vegetarian